Hi everyone, Lamar Steen here with Atlanta Roofing Resources, and I have another uh, question I want to answer today for folks, and that is, <clears throat> what is the best way to detect roof leaks? This is a common question because the telltale signs of a leak can be several feet away from the source of the problem. Still, learning how to seek out the source of a leak may not be, pardon the pun if you will, over your head. The first place to start detecting roof leaks is on the inside of your home. Look for marks of water damage on the walls and ceilings. Brown splotches or discoloring are the most common, though presence of mold certainly is another. Sags or bubbles in the ceilings are another sign of trouble. Sweating or a slight dampness may indicate the problem is just beginning. The next step is to inspect the roof on the inside of your attic. Do this during a bright, sunny day so if there are any places where light can shine through, you can see them better. That is unless you have wooden shingles which naturally let in some light. Also check for any signs of dampness in the insulation and on wood members of the roofing system. Also look for any black staining or buckles in the roof decking. These are all signs of possible leaks. Get a sprinkler and water your roof. <laughs> Sure, your neighbors may talk, but once they know what you're doing, you may see several sprinklers, sprinklers on roofs in your town. Watch as the water from the sprinkler goes to work and see if you can detect any dribbles in the attic. Here's a tip. Take into account the pitch of the roof. Most leaks occur above where the water is dripping through. The third step is to examine the exterior. If you are squeamish about heights or do not have access to a good sturdy extension ladder, a pair of binoculars can work just fine. By all means, if you're going to walk on your roof, it needs to be dry. Walking on wet shingles is bad for the roof and potentially hazardous for you. Also, if you have a fairly steep roof, it is better to contact an Atlanta roofing contractor to do the inspection. You want to closely examine the flashings around the chimneys. That is a notorious source for liquid, leakage. Check around skylights and solar panels, the vents, turbines, and pipes. Look near satellite dishes and antennas. Make sure shingles are not curled, buckled, or torn. Watch for piling up of debris like wet leaves, twigs, etc. Check the gutters to make sure they are clear and not backwashing. Notice if there are any extra dirty patches where debris may once have been sitting. Water can pool in debris laden areas and slowly drain through. Finally, look for any holes or damages that has been caused by animals seeking shelter from the winter, cold, or spring storms. If you see anything suspicious, call a professional Atlanta, Atlanta roofing contractor to come survey it with a trained eye. It will be well worth the money to catch a leak before it causes thousands of dollars in damage. For a complete guide, our free Atlanta Roofing Contractor's Guide, detailing how to find and select the best Atlanta roofing contractor, plus how to understand proposal quotes and roofing contracts, go to AtlantaRoofingContractorsGuide.com. That's AtlantaRoofingContractorsGuide.com. It's completely free, no obligation.